because I know how obsessed you are with your dog. everyone, thank you for coming or for coming back. Today I'm going to show you how to make sugar cookies and I'm also going to show you a little bit about how you can make a sugar cookie portrait of your dog because I know how obsessed you are with your dog. So we are going to start by making our sugar cookie dough and all the ingredients and measurements for that are listed down below if you want to make these. So to start we are going to cream together our butter and sugar on high speed until it is nice and pale and light and fluffy. After that, we are going to add our egg and this size of batch just needs a half an egg. So I just went ahead and beat up my egg and added about half of it. As well, you're going to add your vanilla and beat again on high speed until it is nice and smooth and incorporated. Next, you're going to sift in your flour, baking powder and salt make sure you sift it in because you don't want any little clumps of flour in here and then you can beat that on high speed again until it is nice and mixed in and it should be rather crummy at this point and we are going to add our milk to fix that then when we beat once more it should come together just a little bit more enough so that we can turn it out and knead it to form it into a nice smooth dough so knead it until it is nice and smooth and has come together and then you're going to wrap it in plastic wrap and leave it in the fridge to chill for 10 to 20 minutes. Now this is the point where you are going to want to dig through your cookie cutter collection to find a dog shaped cookie cutter. Now, don't worry if you don't have a cookie cutter or can't find a cookie cutter or if you have one but it doesn't look like the dog you want to make because I am also going to show you a way to do it freehand and to be honest, this one turned out better than my one using a cookie cutter so you don't need a dog shaped cookie cutter at all. So once our dough is all chilled, you can go ahead and roll it out. You want this to be between a quarter and a half of an inch thick and then you can go ahead and cut out your pieces. So I cut a few dog shaped pieces and then also cut some little rectangles that I could paint on and these were 7 centimeters by 10 centimeters because I like that size of a cookie. And these are going to go on a parchment lined tray and they're going to go into the fridge for 10 minutes before going into the oven at 350 degrees. Now this second chilling of the sugar cookie dough is really important because if you notice the first chill is really really quick. Normally recipes would say to chill for an hour. I prefer to do this split up like this and chill them after they've been rolled out because since they're so thin they chill a lot faster and this just really helps the cookie to stop spreading. Okay, so it is really up to you when you take your sugar cookies out of the oven. I personally like a paler, softer sugar cookie, so I'll take it out when it's still pretty white on the top and I just make sure that it's a nice light golden brown on the bottom. If you want a crispier, snappy sugar cookie, you can leave them in for longer until they start to brown. It is totally up to you. You can't really go wrong with this. Anywhere from about 10 to 15 minutes is generally the range that you're going to be in. Now, after taking them out, the one thing that I do like to do, especially when I'm making shapes with really straight sides like a square or a rectangle, is I take my little fine microplane grater and I will grate down the sides of my rectangles just to make sure that the edges are really nice and sharp and straight. This is totally optional if you're not picky, but I just like them to look nice and clean. Now to decorate our cookies, we are going to use a royal icing. This icing is really super simple. All you have to do is beat together your egg whites, cream of tartar, and powdered sugar on a high speed for about two minutes. Now I really don't want to give you a set amount of powdered sugar to use in your recipe because when you're making sugar cookies with royal icing, you're going to want to work with a few different consistencies depending on what you're using it for. As well from person to person, 
I find that different people like a thicker or a thinner icing, so it is something that you sort of have to play with and experiment with to find out what you like. So the thing we are going to start with is doing the background on the rectangular cookies. I'm just doing this a nice plain white background because I want my portrait to be on a nice background instead of just straight on the cookie. And I'm going to show you two ways to fill in this background. So the first way that you can do this is by piping a border around your cookie and then using the piping bag to fill in the empty spaces and then using something with a sharp tip like a toothpick to pop any bubbles, get rid of any empty spots and then go ahead and give it a little shake to get rid of any empty spots or rough spots and then that's it. So this really isn't my preferred method. It just sort of is annoying to me. It takes too long and it's I just don't like doing it this way. So the way that I generally do it is I will pipe a nice little border around my cookie and then I'll just pipe a nice big pile in the middle and then I'll use a palette knife or you could use a regular knife and just go ahead and spread it to all four corners and then give it a shake again so it smooths out a little bit. Any way that you want to do this, if you have a different method, go ahead. It really is up to you as long as you get a nice clean background for your painting. Now repeat this with all of your rectangular cookies and we're going to leave those to set. Ideally leave it overnight so it will fully set so you don't risk breaking your pretty background for your cookie. So the next day, once your cookie background is all set, we can start the fun of decorating our cookies. So the first thing you want to do is find a reference photo to work off of. So take a photo of your dog or whatever dog it is you're going to paint on your cookie, or just gather together all the millions of photos you have of your dog on your camera roll and make sure they're nearby so that you can look at them while you're painting your dog cookie. So fortunately for me, my dog is only three colors, so all I needed was a white, a brown, and a sort of taffy color. So I just had to stick with my plain white royal icing, my royal icing that I added cocoa powder to to turn brown, and I had to mix some yellow in to form a sort of taffy brown color. But it's really gonna depend on what your dog looks like, how many colors he has, to see what sort of colors you're gonna need. Now just working off your reference photo, you're gonna go ahead and I like to start by filling in a totally white sort of outline of my dog, especially because he has white spots on him, it makes it a little bit easier. And especially if you think you're gonna mess up, then start with a white background that is a lot easier to scrape bits off of if you need to. And then you can go ahead and just go back and fill in some details. It really is just sort of playing with the colors and playing with the consistencies until you can make your cute little doggy photo. I finished this off by adding a cute little border as well as a bow tie on my dog and I will show you here the end result in comparison to my dog. I really think that these turned out so, so cute. It is so adorable. This is definitely a cookie that it's like not something you wanna make a dozen of unless it's a really important occasion because it does take a lot of time to paint in a sugar cookie like this. But if you are really into painting or really into dogs or really into cookies, then I hope you make these, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you next time.